here and I will look the people of Kenya in the eye and tell them there will be no corruption in social health as long as I'm president. Is it a lie again or is he changed the man? The challenges of fraud and corruption that had bedeviled the NHIF, they will never be. In a bold statement, President William Ruto assured Kenyans that under his leadership, the Social Health Authority in shortcut share will remain free of corruption. He made it clear that as long as he is president, his government will not tolerate any form of corruption within the share. An institution tasked with revolutionizing healthcare across the country. There is a lot of fake news and a lot of incorrect information that is out there. I want to assure the country that the challenges of fraud and corruption that had bedeviled the NHIF, they will never be as so long as I am in charge. They will never be in our universal health coverage plan. We have costed the equipments, we have costed the drugs, we have costed the services with experts. The president emphasized that every procurement made by the share has been well documented and accounted for, urging the public to disregard the misleading narratives circulating on social media. He strongly condemned the propaganda being spread, stressing that no one has been coerced or forced into signing any agreements within the authority. The procurement of any equipment, the one that I see people talking about in the media, there was a procurement process. It was carried out between the counties and the national and the ministry of uh, and the ministry of health. There is no obligation on any county to get any equipment from any supplier. There is no one supplier. I think there are seven or so suppliers. And there is no obligation on any county. Anybody who says they were forced by the national government to sign whatever uh, contract, those are conmen and they are liars. Because Mungaro is here, Abdul Somad is here, Fatuma is here, they are governors. There is nobody who forced them to sign any contract. That is the truth. Nobody was forced. And nobody, you have to be a fool to be forced to sign the wrong thing. And you actually sign. Wait, wait. <laughs> you know? And you go and announce that I was forced. When we were in you know, and number two, even if you sign for whatever equipment, it is you to choose what equipment you need. And if you have alternative ways of getting that equipment, you are free to get those alternative equipments from wherever. The only thing we were doing is to. <laughs> This, this are, these are the, the county governments. That is the truth. Sindio Mungaro. That's correct. Despite the huge opposition and the criticism facing his administration, President Ruto assured citizens that his government remains committed to providing quality health services to all Kenyans. He encouraged every citizen to actively support the government's health initiatives which are aimed to improving the lives of the people. The lies being spread on social media must stop, said President Ruto. So, let, let us not, and, and I am here and I will look the people of Kenya in the eye and tell them there will be no corruption in social health as long as I'm president. You know? and, and, I am, and I am willing to be challenged. Because we must get rid of corruption. We must get rid of fraud. We must make sure that Kenyans get the benefit and value for every cent they spend.
on everything including in uh, matters health he called for unity and urged kenyans to stand behind the government's efforts in building a stronger and more accessible health care system the president's message is clear the government is committed to transparency and equality health care for all the future of kenya health care sector led by Shia depends on the support and trust of every kenya stay tuned for more updates as we continue to follow the progress of this vital initiative this is stephen g seniors here and i will look the people of kenya in the eye and tell them there will be no corruption in social health as so long as i'm president is it a lie again or is he changed the man the challenges of fraud and corruption that had bedeviled the nhif they will never be in a bold statement president william ruto assured kenyans that under his leadership the social health authority in shortcut shia will remain free of corruption he made it clear that as long as as he is president his government will not tolerate any form of corruption within the shia an institution tasked with revolutionizing healthcare across the country there is a lot of fake news and a lot of incorrect information that is out there i want to assure the country that the challenges of fraud and corruption that had bedeviled the nhif they will never be as so long as i am in charge they will never be in our universal health coverage plan we have costed the equipments we have costed the drugs we have costed the services with experts the president emphasized that every procurement made by the share has been well documented and accounted for urging the public to disregard the misleading narratives circulating on social media he strongly condemned the propaganda being spread stressing that no one has been coerced or forced into signing any agreements within the authority the procurement of any equipment the one that i see people talking about in the media there was a procurement process it was carried out between the counties and the national and the ministry of uh, and the ministry of health there is no obligation on any county to get any equipment from any supplier there is no one supplier i think there are seven or so suppliers and there is no obligation on any county anybody who says they were forced by the national government to sign whatever uh, contract those are conmen and they are liars because mungaro is here abdul somad is here fatuma is here they are governors there is nobody who forced them to sign any contract that is the truth nobody was forced and nobody you have to be a fool to be forced to sign the wrong thing and you actually sign where we <laughs> you know and you go and announce that i was forced when we when mjiga gas gun you know and number two, even if you sign for whatever equipment it is you to choose what equipment you need and if you have alternative ways of getting that equipment you are free to get those alternative equipments from wherever the only thing we were doing is to